Today we're diving into something that most drivers and even many mechanics overlook, the mass airflow sensor, commonly called the MAF sensor, and specifically the hidden problem that exists within it that can cause serious issues if ignored. This is a problem that many garages and mechanics quietly hope you never discover, because when you understand it, you save money, frustration, and gain true insight into how your engine breathes and performs. The MAF sensor may seem like a small, unassuming part tucked away between your air filter and throttle body, but it plays a central role in engine performance, fuel efficiency, and even the longevity of your vehicle. The air-fuel mixture in your engine is critical, and the MAF sensor is the key piece of information that your engine's computer relies on to determine that mixture. If it gives bad data, your engine can run too rich, too lean, hesitate on acceleration, idle poorly, or even stall. And the worst part is, the ECU doesn't always immediately flag these issues. There's a subtle, silent failure mode that we're going to explore in this video along with a detailed solution that you can implement yourself. By the end of this video, you will understand your MAF sensor like never before, know how to diagnose and fix the hidden problem, and have the confidence to keep your engine running smoothly for years to come. Segment 1. Understanding the MAF sensor. Why it's so important. Let's start with the basics, but not too basic. Your engine needs the correct mixture of air and fuel to operate efficiently. Too much fuel and not enough air and you're running rich, which leads to black smoke, fouled spark plugs, and wasted fuel. Too little fuel and too much air, and you're running lean, which can cause engine knocking, hesitation, and even damage over time. The MAF sensor's primary job is to measure the mass of air entering the engine so the ECU knows exactly how much fuel to inject. Without this measurement, your engine is essentially guessing, and guessing is not good when it comes to internal combustion. The MAF sensor is a small component, but it holds enormous responsibility. Located between your air filter and throttle body, it monitors every breath your engine takes, every change in acceleration, every climb up a hill, every change in ambient temperature or air density. The MAF sensor measures all of it and communicates with your ECU. When this sensor is compromised, your engine performance is compromised. The the beauty of this component is that it's simple in principle but delicate in execution, and that's why problems often go unnoticed until they start affecting performance in noticeable ways. Segment 2. How the MAF sensor works. The hidden science. Most modern vehicles use hot wire or hot film MAF sensors. Here's how they work. A small element in the sensor is electrically heated, and as air flows past it, it cools the element. The sensor measures how much current is required to keep the element at the set temperature, which directly correlates with the mass of the air flowing into the engine. Think of it as a tiny thermometer that tells the ECU how much air is moving through your intake. Additionally, many MAF sensors include an intake air temperature measurement, so the ECU can adjust for changes in air density. Air is denser in cold weather and thinner in hot weather, and without this compensation, your engine could run inefficiently. So the MAF sensor is not just measuring airflow, it's measuring airflow in context with temperature, density, and sometimes even humidity. It's a finely tuned system that, when working correctly, makes the engine respond smoothly to driver input and environmental changes. When it's dirty, misaligned, or otherwise compromised, the engine's response is sluggish, the fuel economy drops, and you might notice smoke, hesitation, or rough idling. The key takeaway here is that the MAF sensor is both delicate and critical. Segment 3. The Hidden Problem Contamination and Misreporting Now here's the secret that many mechanics hope you never notice. The MAF sensor can become contaminated over time, which changes how it reads airflow. This contamination doesn't always trigger a check engine light immediately. Your car might seem to run fine for months with the sensor slightly off. Dust, oil vapors from from certain aftermarket filters, soot, and even residue from cleaning products can coat the sensor element, changing its thermal properties. The sensor might still function, but it is no longer accurate. 
An inaccurate MAF sensor can make your engine run slightly rich or lean, reducing performance and fuel efficiency without obvious warning signs. Segment 4. Why this problem happens. Let's break down exactly why this happens. First, the sensor is exposed to the airstream. Every particle, every vapor, every little contaminant in the air passing through your filter has the potential to coat the hot wire or film. Over time, this coating acts as insulation, changing how the sensor element heats and cools, which causes inaccurate airflow readings. Second, air leaks between the MAF sensor and the intake manifold can introduce unmetered air. The ECU thinks it is getting a certain amount of air based on the MAF sensor, but additional air bypasses the sensor, causing incorrect fuel injection. Third, if the air filter is dirty, damaged, or not seated properly, particles can bypass it and coat the sensor element, worsening the problem. What's critical to understand is that all these issues can exist silently. Your engine may run poorly but the ECU may not immediately detect the problem or trigger a fault code. Segment 5. Symptoms to look out for. So, how do you know if your MAF sensor is compromised? There are subtle and not so subtle signs. Subtle signs include rough idle, hesitation on acceleration, or a slightly sluggish response when you step on the gas. Not so subtle Subtle signs include stalling, black smoke from the exhaust, or noticeable drops in fuel economy. You might also see engine codes like P0100, P0101, P0171, or P0174 if the ECU detects that the air-fuel mixture is off, but sometimes there are no codes at all. That's why understanding how the sensor works and how to test it is so important, because you can catch problems before they become expensive failures. The Solution Step-by-step -step guide to fix your MAF sensor Step 1 Preparation. To fix a contaminated or misreporting MAF sensor, you need the right tools and supplies. You'll need a dedicated MAF sensor cleaner, which is specially formulated to clean the sensor without damaging the delicate element. You'll also need basic tools to remove the sensor from the intake, such as screwdrivers or a socket set. Optionally, you can use an OBD scanner to read live data and clear fault codes. Finally, check your air filter. If it's dirty, replace it with a high-quality quality, non-oily filter. A clean air filter ensures that the cleaned MAF sensor stays clean longer. Step 2. Initial Diagnostic Check Before removing the sensor, inspect the intake system. Look for cracks in the hoses, loose clamps, or any vacuum leaks. Even a small leak can cause misreadings. If your vehicle allows, use an OBD scanner to check live airflow readings at idle. Compare these readings to the expected values for your engine. If airflow seems low or high, for the given RPM, you've identified a clue that the MAF sensor may not be reading correctly. Step 3. Cleaning the MAF sensor. Carefully unplug the MAF sensor connector and remove the sensor from the intake duct, noting its orientation. Spray the sensing element with dedicated MAF cleaner, ensuring that all surfaces are sprayed without touching the delicate wire or film. Let the sensor air dry completely. This usually takes a few minutes. Once dry, reinstall the sensor in the correct orientation and secure all clamps. Step 4. Post cleaning check and reset. After reinstalling, clear any fault codes using your OBD scanner or disconnect the battery for a few minutes to reset the ECU. Start the engine and allow it to reach operating temperature. Monitor the idle and throttle response. The engine should run more smoothly with less hesitation and better fuel efficiency. Take it for a test drive, paying attention to acceleration, idle, and overall drivability. If live data is available, compare the MAF readings before and after cleaning to ensure the sensor is now reading accurately. Step 5. If problems persist. If cleaning the MAF sensor doesn't solve the issue, further investigation is necessary. Check the intake hoses and boots for cracks or leaks, and ensure all clamps are tight. Consider testing or replacing the MAF sensor if it continues to give inaccurate readings. Also check related sensors like the intake air temperature sensor to ensure they are functioning correctly. Sometimes the problem is not the MAF sensor itself, but a combination of small issues in the intake system. Step 6. Preventive Maintenance and Best Practices Regular maintenance can prevent MAF sensor problems 
problems. Replace or inspect the air filter regularly, check intake hoses for cracks or leaks, and avoid using oily gauze filters that can spray oil onto the sensor. Periodically clean the MAF sensor, especially if you drive in dusty, oily, or high-pollution environments. By proactively maintaining the sensor and intake system, you ensure optimal engine performance and fuel efficiency. Real-life example step-by-step -step implementation. Let's go through a practical example. Imagine a 2005 petrol car with 140,000 kilometers. The driver notices increased fuel consumption, rough idle and hesitation during acceleration. No fault codes are present or perhaps a code appeared briefly in the past. The driver inspects the air filter, finds it dirty, and checks intake hoses discovering a small crack near a clamp. They remove the MAF sensor, clean it with a dedicated cleaner, replace the air filter, and fix the intake hose. After reinstalling everything and clearing codes, the engine idles smoothly, acceleration improves, and fuel economy increases. Over the next month, the driver tracks fuel usage and notes the improvement. This routine inspection and cleaning prevent further damage and maintain engine performance. You may think that understanding and fixing a MAF sensor is too technical, but it's an empowering process. When you know how your engine breathes, you take control of your vehicle. The MAF sensor represents knowledge, efficiency, and pride in your vehicle. By learning to diagnose and fix subtle problems, you save money, prevent costly repairs, and gain confidence in your mechanical skills. Taking control of maintenance is not just about saving money. It's about understanding and respecting your vehicle and having the confidence to keep it in peak condition. The MAF sensor may seem small and insignificant, but it is essential for engine performance. Hidden contamination or misreporting is a common problem, yet it is preventable with inspection, cleaning, and proper maintenance. By understanding how the MAF sensor works, diagnosing issues and implementing preventive measures, you ensure your engine runs efficiently, smoothly, and reliably. Taking control of your vehicle's health is empowering, and it's a skill that will serve you for years. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe and tap the notification bell so you don't miss future deep dives like this. Leave your questions and topics you want to see in the comments. Maybe MAP sensors, turbo systems, or hybrid diagnostics. Drive safe, keep sharp, take control, and see you next time. Don't forget, subscribe for more videos like this and leave your questions and the topics you want to watch in the comment section below.